I'd like to challenge you with a few photos and videos. In the old days, everyone just carried a weapons, and then they start to work on the, in the field. And I believe that after a while, when the peace will come in one day, we will turn our weapons and our tools to uh, medical tools. Even the UN believe in that. Do you think, is there any connection between precision missiles and medicine? I think there is. As you can see on the right side, there is a missile. On the left side, there is a very small pill that there is a camera inside. And the idea is to swallow it. And it's traveling in the body. It's doing virtual, uh, uh, virtual photos in the body. And it's based on the same technology. Physicians are using the Google Glass to get much more information regarding their patients, exactly as the pilot using his sophisticated helmet. Rarier robots or surgery robots. Even a tank that became to be a bar, it looks very nice one. Furniture made from weapons. I'd like to introduce you to Chaim. Chaim born 67 years ago in the snowing country of Belarus, and when he was 17, he arrived to Israel. Three years ago, Chaim was diagnosed with melanoma, the skin cancer. Chaim is my father. As you can see, he's smiling, is still smiling, and we are a very happy family. Happy and big family. And we're all still keeping smiling. Uh, Chaim in Hebrew, it's life. So we decided and we realized that from now and on, melanoma will be part of our life because melanoma uh, and our... Actually, we, we got everything from our parents, the good and the bad things. So I believe that my skin is, looks like my father. So it's going to be part of his life, my life, my brother's life, and my kid's life, not just us. This is a huge problem of 420 million people around the world. It's found as one of the most dangerous cancers. There is no cure for melanoma. In the United States, it's killed a lot of people. It's cost a lot of money. In Germany, it's like the nation cancer. And actually, more than 30% from uh, the amount of the cancers in the world is melanoma. Let's play a short game. Who can find the differences because, b between those two pictures? Yeah, on the right. Yeah. Actually, there are a big three buildings, 75 floors each. You can see them from Tel Aviv, from everywhere. But here, I believe not everybody found it, but there is more than one change. There is five differences between the photos. Now think about the dermatologist who is trying to find differences on the body of his patient. It's very, very hard to find. And to find melanoma, there is only one secret. Let's find the new moles or the moles that have been changed. That's all. And when we will find them, we will save the life of our patients with a two-minute surgery. That's all. What you saw before, it was automatically uh, diagnosed by uh, military tools that, make the that find the differences between the aerial photos. So my idea, after I realized the problem of the skin cancer, is let's adopt the military tools to be the, the cancer. Let's use the same technology that find the differences between the aerial photos to find differences in the human body. Let's use technology, the high-end technology, to save 420 million people around the world. Let's do it automatically. Let's use augmented reality, machine learning, cloud, SaaS, and most important, let's use the wisdom of the crowd to help us. First of all, let's do it very, very simple. Let's use a regular camera, maybe our smartphone. Take the photos, upload them. 
to the very, very sophisticated system that will do the same as we saw uh, the military and defense uh, uh, tools. Press the magic button and let the machine do the job for us. Now we're going to learn a lot about the, uh, the skin cancer. So let's collect all the moles to one big data. Let's say that John from Canada, Esther from Tel Aviv, and Richard from Australia just entered to the clinic. The physician took their photos, uploaded it to the system, all the moles located in one big data. So we can find the, the suspicious mole and the moles that are looking OK. Now Hans from Berlin just entered the clinic. So the physician can learn from the crowd. He can learn from the database which moles are suspicious. So he can, live, he can uh, uh, save Hans' life real time and online by using the, by using the wisdom of the, of the crowd. The ABC to save life is early detection of skin cancer. Early detection of skin cancer is absolutely the ABC to save lives. Thank you very much. <laughs>